McCarthy looks at a possible blitz, gets the snap, drops it, is 21, being chased to the right side. McCarthy throws on the run, caught at the 36-yard line, and it's Johnson who dives and lands at his own 42, getting a Michigan first down. And now Colston Loveland will move to the left as well. Edwards in the backfield with McCarthy. Third down Michigan, eight to go from their own 43, and down a touchdown. Snap to McCarthy. Back at his 35 to pass. Slides to his left. McCarthy still has the ball. Zips down and up the left sideline for Ronnie Bell. Caught inside the Ohio State 30. Denzel Burke will tackle him to the Buckeye 25-yard line. And a great pass by McCarthy to find his receiver. Michigan first down in Ohio State territory. Yeah, Denzel Burke just ran up. I thought he thought McCarthy was going to. He came off his coverage on Ronnie Bell, and then he threw it right over his head for a big play first down. So the Wolverines, who this year have had eight consecutive games with a touchdown in their opening possession, have advanced the ball to the Ohio State 24. The holder as Michigan will try and score on the opening drive. Ball's put down. Moody with a kick for 49 yards in the air toward the uprights, and Moody hits it for Michigan to get the Wolverines on the board. Out in a shotgun. Has Stover motioning left to right. Williams in the backfield with Stroud, who gets the snap, fakes the handoff. Stroud looks, and he's going to look to throw, looking right, looking left. Throws on the right side again. Hits Stover at the Michigan 45, where he's grabbed and stopped by safety Rod Moore. And that's a loss of yardage. Loss of three on that catch. Fourth and two, Ohio State at the Michigan 34. Stroud stomps the left leg, takes the snap, hand fakes the handoff, sets to throw, looks back, tosses left side, caught by Stobert and dropped at the 15-yard line as he came up the left side. Cade Stobert covered by lineman Jalen Harrell and just couldn't hang on to it. You see, the Buckeyes can force a third straight punt. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Wolverines have... Tavier Dunlap in at tailback. He's to the left of quarterback J.J. McCarthy. Three wide to the right, single flanker to the left. And on third down, McCarthy in the shotgun. Gets the snap. Pressure coming. McCarthy hit while throwing one upfield. Caught at the 40-yard line. Johnson spins away from defenders. Gets to the 50. Still moving to the Ohio State 40. To the 30. And he's got nobody between him and the end zone. And it's a touchdown to Cornelius Johnson. As McCarthy wheeled away from pressure and found Cornelius Johnson for his fifth touchdown catch of the year. And Michigan, a PAT away from tying this game. Well, McCarthy had pressure right away. He had to get rid of that football. He had to throw it over some outstretched arms. And he was able to do that. Hit his receiver on the Michigan sideline, a missed tackle, and he takes it to the house. That missed tackle just opened the gate. So the PAT unit is on. Johnson's fifth touchdown of the year. Yes, it is. Greg Tarr to snap, Brad Robbins to spot, and Jake Moody will try for a PAT that would tie the game at 10. With 7.26 left until halftime. Tar positioned over the ball. Snaps it, put down by Robbins. The kick by Moody is up, and it is good to tie the game at 10. They were able to take advantage of their soft non-conference schedule and post a lot of points. I think they had 50 points or more in their first three games. McCarthy, the quarterback, will work in a pistol with Donovan Edwards behind him at tailback. Moving in motion, Ronnie Bell. And back is McCarthy to throw from his 15. Steps up, looks, fires long. Oh, down geez. the middle of the field. Johnson's got it at the 30. Gets his way to the Ohio State 20 to the 10. And Johnson will waltz in easily into the end zone for another touchdown from J.J. McCarthy. A 75-yard scoring pass. The Wolverines hit the end zone on the first play of this drive. Well, it, it, it almost looked like a Hail Mary type blast because he just let it go and wide open. Down the field, receiver, no one close. Cornelius Johnson, his second touchdown here in the first half. And people were concerned about J.J. McCarthy's ability to throw the ball deep. They shouldn't be. Down. He needed to get to the 35 to get the first down, so he's going to be a half yard shy. And it looks like Michigan's going to hurry up and go for it. They here. sure are. As the Wolverines are in fourth and short. Get lined up, quick handoff Edwards, and he's going to squirt through and get the first down. Eichenberg finally stops him around the Michigan 36-yard line. First down, Wolverine. Begin to their own 36-yard line. McCarthy takes off running. Stumbling right side, goes to the 40, and he's dropped. No, he's still moving to the 50. And finally, safety Tanner McAllister forces him out of bounds around the Ohio State 45-yard line. What a pickup by McCarthy, the quarterback. Yeah, quarterback run all the way there. He took it right around the right side. He was able to turn the corner and then... Get a few more yards, fight for that tackle along the sideline. Came into the game averaging 4.3 per carry. J.J. McCarthy 
But his run gives Michigan a fresh set of downs at the Ohio State 45. Another tight end left side of the line, and Edwards in the backfield with J.J. McCarthy gets the snap. Fakes a reverse, sets to throw, looks, fires. Down the right sideline, got Loveland wide open at the 10 of Ohio State, and Loveland is going to take it into the end zone for a Michigan touchdown. Colton Loveland with his first collegiate touchdown catch. Freshman from Gooding, Idaho, as McCarthy play faked and faked a lot. As Michigan has gone in front now, 23-20. He was wide open by about five yards there. Lathan Ransom was the closest defender there, but they let the tight end, number 18, slip right by him. And J.J. McCarthy, excellent drive here, keeping things alive with his feet, running the football, and then putting it on the money for a 45-yard TD. His first third touchdown pass of the game, J.J. McCarthy, as he hits Colston Loveland. Buckeyes on the ball in a hurry. Another handoff train him again to the right side. Grabbed by the neck and thrown down at his own 49-yard line by defensive end Braden McGregor. Third and three. Ohio State at their own 49-yard line. Stover motioning right to left. Stroud pitches it out. Train him. Running left side. Train him. He's in trouble. Fights his way to his own 49, and that's where he has taken down corner. Mike Sandra still was the first defender to blow that play up as Trainum couldn't get turned around the left corner. Now he got back to the line of scrimmage, so fourth and about three for the Buckeyes. They'll send Jesse Merkel out to punt this ball away. So Ohio State, their opening drive in the third quarter, get a first down and then have to punt. Ends on each side of the line. Snap to Stroud. Fakes a handoff. Sets it his own 45 to throw. Hit while throwing, and it's caught out on the right side. Trainum moving to the Michigan 40. Dances his way to the Wolverine 35. Left side to the Michigan 30 goes Trainum. Behind a blocker, he gets to the 25 and forced out of bounds. And he was forced out because Marvin Harrison was trying to block Will Johnson. There's a penalty flag down back near where Stroud threw the ball. I think they're going to get holding on Ohio State. Hmm. Yeah, there was some back down near the 10-yard line. Right, right. There are two fouls on the play. Both will be enforced. Holding offense number 74. 10-yard penalty. Repeat first down. After the play was over. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Offense number 88. To penalize half the distance to the goal. First down. Number 88's first unsportsmanlike of the game. That is G. Scott called for that, and this is what boxed Ohio State into a difficult spot last week in Maryland. Yeah, you get a holding call on number 74, Donovan Jackson, a personal foul on number 88, G. Scott, and the Buckeyes go backwards. Mm, as they were headed forward. Yeah, they had the ball on the 25 yard line. Yeah. It's 50 yards difference. And, and we're starting this possession at the 48 of Michigan. Best starting field the position we talked about. penalty is enforced 15 yards. First down, Ohio State. So the Buckeyes are backed up now to their own, what, about 26 or 27-yard line. There must have been some talking because I didn't see any swinging or anything like no. that. Unless I missed it. So Ohio State, first in an acre. Backed up to their own 27-yard line and trailing by four here in the third quarter. Snap to Stroud. Pitches out Trainum. Right side Trainum moving to his own 29 where he is wrestled down to the ground and taken down by defensive lineman Mozzie Smith for the formation. J.G. McCarthy in the shotgun. Back to pass. McCarthy steps up, rolling right side, Holding. running 35, 40-yard line, and he'll slide at the 40 to go down in front of Lathan Ransom. Safety first down. McCarthy again on the run. Yeah, it's Ron Benson's looking at the official. The umpire says, hey, what about that holding Ooh, there? Well, no, not first down. Second and short. Yeah, Zach Zittner working against him, number 65. Had a little bit of cloth there, but got away with it. So McCarthy almost got the first down. He's got one more to go for Michigan with the ball to their own 41-yard line. Ronnie Bell wide left. Andrell Anthony wide right. Colston Loveland slot right. Donovan Edwards in the backfield with J.J. McCarthy. Second and one Michigan to their own 41-yard line. Now Loveland motioning right to left. Hand to Edwards running straight ahead. Gets the first down and more. Hits the 50 and goes down at the Ohio State 48. Lathan Ransom safety brought him down. Conversion Wolverines. Yeah, drive started on their 20-yard line. They get it across midfield with a couple first downs on this drive. So the defense needs to tighten up here in a hurry. They'll spot that at the Ohio State 47-yard line. So Michigan with a 24-20 lead. And McCarthy out of the gun. Hands it off to Donovan Edwards going left side. He'll get to the Ohio State 40 and stumble and go down at the 38 of the Buckeyes where finally lineman Ty Hamilton got enough of him to force him down. But Michigan gaining yards on the ground. Yeah, Tilly Maloa had the first opportunity in the backfield but just couldn't get Donovan Edwards off his balance. He's able to turn that corner and pick up nine. Ohio State's 38. They're going to have Max Bredesen 
And Mullings in an offset eye. McCarthy will get under center. Olawa Timmy on third and short. Michigan at Ohio State's 38. McCarthy the snap. Hands it off Mullings. Mullings is going to throw a jump pass downfield. Caught at the 25 and tackled at the 23. Safety Lathan Ransom tackles tight end Luke Schoonmaker as Mullings threw an awkward looking pass, but a successful one to give Michigan the first down. Yeah, I'm sure Ohio State didn't have that play in their playbook or something to practice on. They never thought they would see the backup linebacker playing tailback and throwing the football, but he did and picked up the first down. Michigan with it at the 23 of Ohio State as we near the two minute mark of the third quarter. Wolverines are guarding a 24-20 lead. Three tight ends will line up on the left side of the line. Andrell Anthony will go wide right for quarterback J.J. McCarthy. He's got Edwards in the backfield with him. First down Michigan to the Ohio State 23. And off Edwards swings it around the right side to the 20, and he's going to be dropped around the Ohio State 17 by safety Ronnie Hickman. I tell you, Michigan's doing a better job sustaining their blocks here in the second half. In the first half, Ohio State did a great job against the run. In the shotgun, Edwards in the backfield with him. Third and three. Michigan to the Ohio State 16. Handoff Edwards moving straight ahead. He'll get the first down before Ronnie Hickman wrestles him down around the Ohio State 13. He should have the first down, but we'll wait for him to spot it officially. Yeah, I thought they had it, but we'll see. It still looks short on the... Does look short. They're going for it. it. Yeah, they are on fourth and short. Ball put down at the around the 13 of Ohio State. Scoreboard is still showing third down. That's first down, Paul. Oh, okay. Yep. So they moved the change and they had to wait to get the change moved. First yeah. down, Michigan. In the backfield for quarterback J.J. McCarthy. Third and 10, Michigan to the Ohio State 13. Wolverines up four. Snap McCarthy back to throw. Pressure coming. McCarthy being chased. Throws that one deep down the left side into the end zone. Incomplete. And a flag comes as Ronnie Hickman ran into Ronnie Bell in the left corner of the end zone for a ball that Ronnie Bell probably wasn't going to catch. No, I think it was uncatchable. Maybe the refs will talk. You see the referee kind of coming down there. A little contact there in the end zone. Defensive pass interference will make it first and goal. interference defense number 14 the foul occurred in the end zone the ball will be placed at the two yard line automatic first down penalties continue to harm Ohio State yes they do big one there he had some pressure applied he just threw it up hoping uh -huh. to get a defensive pass interference and Ronnie Hickman was there and not sure that he ever really turned around and looked for the ball no so to be first and goal, Michigan at the Ohio State 2 with the Wolverines leading by 4, 24 to 20, and 14.03 to play fourth quarter. It's Johnson wide right, Ronnie Bell, Roman Wilson wide left. It's and loud. J.J. McCarthy in a shotgun. Donovan Edwards to his left on third and goal from the Ohio State 3. Snap McCarthy running left side. McCarthy is going to get into the end zone for a Michigan touchdown. It looks like, yep, touchdown signal. As McCarthy ran to the left, got behind blockers, and scores on a three-yard touchdown run. J.J. McCarthy's thrown for three touchdowns and is run for one, and Michigan now leads it 30-20. to 20. Well, I tell you, they took it right down the field. 80-yard drive. Found ways to get first downs, and then that big penalty there. Defensive pass interference in the end zone gives them first and goal at the two-yard line. And Buckeyes did a great job in their first two downs, but third down, they let the quarterback run slip and into the end zone. 31-20 here in the fourth quarter. Center Luke Whipler over the ball. Two wide to the left for C.J. Stroud, who's in the shotgun. Gets the snap. Stroud back to pass. Sets it as 15. Stroud looking. Looking. Still looking. Sails it up the left side. Mayan Williams blown up at the 25 after making the catch. And Michigan's Michael Barrett linebacker right on Mayan Williams as he collected that pass. He's been a leading tackler in this ball game. I thought C.J. waited a while. He waited until Barrett kind of closed on Mayan Williams. Then he threw him the football. Get rid of that a little bit quicker. Dallin Hayden will come in and play tailback now. Second and nine. With 12.04 to play in the fourth quarter. Need to get to the 35 to pick up the first down. Ball's on the 32. Michigan is going to have, looks like, three, now four down linemen in the area of the line of scrimmage. Johnson motions into the backfield. He'll get a screen. No, it's batted down and incomplete as defensive end. Braden McGregor went after a screen pass that was thrown to the left side, and McGregor almost volleyed it into his own hands. Well, he's 6'6", six, six, about 260. The junior got up, was able to deflect that pass, so Ohio State... Gonna have to punt it away. Three and out. Begrudgingly mm. to punt it away. Yep. 
And the penalties have hurt Ohio State. They have committed seven of them. Michigan has committed five. Here we go. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, kicking team number eight. The 15-yard penalty will be added to the end of the play. First down. Wow. Bredesen and Edwards offset eye in the middle of him as quarterback J.J. McCarthy to take the snap. Hands at Edwards. Coming now, McCarthy keeps it. Sets the throw. He'll fire deep down the middle of the field. That ball for Johnson. Broken up. Flag thrown near the five of Ohio State. Lathan Ranson and Jacqueline Johnson. Defensive backs were closing in on the intended receiver, Cornelius Johnson, and we should get defensive pass interference. Yeah, you had two flags. That was immediate. Every long shot they're trying, they're either completing or they're getting penalties. Keep going to it. Pass interference. Defense number 12. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. So two consecutive snaps with penalties. 27 yards on this drive on penalties. Mm. We're not that good as a defense to do that. you, you got to have some negative plays now, and we'll see if Ohio State can do it start now because they're going to about another 10 or 15 yards from field goal range. And four, Ohio State to the Michigan nine. Now Rossi motioning into the backfield in front of Chip Trainum. And Stroud to throw. Stroud looking, being chased. Floats that left corner of the end zone. Stover. Stover has it broken up. Mike Sainra still corner. Came over and poked the ball out of the hands of tight end Cade Stover in the left corner of the end zone. Yeah, not a bad throw, but it just hung up in the air a little bit. It allowed the defender to get back in the action, and Cade couldn't get that cleanly. So Ohio State here will take the three points and see if Noel Ruggles can add the three. Ruggles today has hit a 32-yarder and a 47-yarder. This is going to be, it looks like, a 27-yard try. He'll work in a shotgun. Two wide to the left, single flanker to the right. Tight end Loveland motions from right to left. Oluwa Timmy, the center over the ball. Snaps into McCarthy. Hands it off Donovan Edwards. Running right side, hits his own 30 to the 40. He's to the 50-yard line. Donovan Edwards, he goes down the right sideline, and he's going to take it all the way to the house. Donovan Edwards, as he went around the right side and gives Michigan another long rushing touchdown, 75 yards to the end zone. Donovan Edwards, and it's 37-23 Michigan. Took it right around the right side of our defense, up the Michigan sideline. We had one player make an attempt at a tackle. Donovan Jackson was able to avoid that and right up the sidelines into the end zone. Well, this Michigan football team, mine is their biggest rushing threat, but they've seen others pick up in his absence. Both quarterback J.J. McCarthy and running back Donovan Edwards. PAT unit is on. Greg Tarr to snap. Brad Robbins to hold and Jake Moody to attempt the PAT. His kick is up and Moody's kick is good. And the Michigan lead has made the hole that much bigger for Ohio State. It's 38-23 Wolverines. Well, it's red. It's two-minute offense now for Ohio State. you got to find a way to get in the end zone quick. And obviously your defense has to get stops. No one was expecting that to take it right to the house. But credit Donovan Edwards, that offensive line, getting everybody turned in and then right up the sideline for the TD. Fifth rushing touchdown of the year. The sophomore from West Bloomfield, Michigan, who missed last week's game due to injury and has been leaned on a lot with Blake Corum limited today. Yeah, he has really played well. We've seen, you know, Donovan, like you said, missed some time. Only had 70 rushing attempts. You know, he had four TDs. He's averaging 6.7, so that'll increase after that 75 yards on one play. Playing in just his ninth game of the season, Donovan Edwards. So now Ohio State in a position that is very foreign to them here in 2022. 7-11 remaining in the game. 38-23. Buckeyes trailing Michigan here at Ohio Stadium. Wide left. Three wide right. Third and 10. Ohio State at Michigan 16. Luke Whippler center over the ball identifying defenders. Stroud in the shotgun. He's going to pass. Stroud looks. Stroud looks right. Looks left. Runs straight ahead. Throws it upfield. And it's intercepted inside the 10-yard line. He made an underhand pass that was picked off by Michigan defensive lineman Taylor Upshaw. So with 419 to play in the fourth quarter, the first time out of the game, the first turnover of the game goes against Ohio State. Yeah, you, you know, you credit CJ. He scrambled on there, trying to make a play, 
thought he saw Xavier Johnson open up, right? It was Xavier number 10 and just tried to shovel that pass to him. Ends up getting tipped and incomplete. And we got some fans heading for the parking lot. Well, with 419 to play in Michigan leading 38-23, there's a little bit of pessimism that has now started to filter through the stadium, as you said, Jim. And well, Michigan in a position to just burn clock. Yeah, and Buckeyes have all three of their timeouts, so need some negative plays, use your timeouts, and see what can happen here. Follow with Timmy, snaps it to McCarthy, hands to Edwards running right side, and he's loose again to the 30, gets to his own 40. Edwards to the 50, being chased in bucket territory to the 20. Edwards is going to take it all the way to the end zone again. Donovan Edwards. <laughs> just tears off another heartbreaking long run against this Ohio State defense. An 85-yard run to the end zone, and it's 44-23 Michigan. 21 carries for Donovan Edwards, 214 yards, Big Daddy. 10 yards per average. That'll do it. They didn't need Blake Corum today. They had Donovan Edwards. And he just rips off another long run against the Ohio State defense. 44-23, Michigan on top. PAT unit is on. Greg Tarr to snap. Robbins to spot it. And Jake Moody for the kick for the PAT. It is up. And it is good. And this Michigan football team has come to Columbus. And they're about to do something they haven't done since 2000. And that is win in Columbus as they have a 45 to 23 lead. Yeah, that whole sideline was in shock when Edwards is running down the field, got in the clear. Just looking at all those guys. They didn't know whether to look up or look down or where to look. And credit Michigan for the confusion. Finding ways to block up our guys at the line of scrimmage, get our linebackers, and, and make some big plays. And they have been able to do that. They've been able to do it ever since trailing at the half 20 to 17. Well, this one hurts, right, Buckeye fans? It sure does. This would be, barring a miraculous change, the first time that Ohio State has lost consecutive games to Michigan since 1999 and 2000. Also looking to break is Ohio State's 29 consecutive Big Ten home field winning streak. Going all the way back to 2015 when they lost in the finale that year to Michigan State. Well, at least they got 20 points, 73 games in a row. They've gotten that, but that's not enough. Nope. <laughs> Stroud's set to pass. Stroud is going to be grabbed and sacked, and the football comes out after he was grabbed. They're going to blow the play dead as Michigan defensive end, Rolling Yabby Oki. The runner's progress was stopped. Second down. Correction, third down. Yabby Oki comes up with his third sack of the year, bringing Stroud down around the Ohio State 37. They got to get a pretty good player, too, Paris Johnson, Jr. I don't think he's given up a sack all season. Third and nine, Ohio State from the 37 on their own side of the field. Quarterback C.J. Stroud gets the snap, sets up to pass, pressure coming. Stroud fires deep down the middle of the field, Stover incomplete, and it is intercepted. Makari Page up with it, Michigan, brings it to his own 30-yard line. Page will move middle of the field to his 35, and now he's going to be grabbed by Emeka Ambuka and tackled around the Michigan 33. Second interception thrown by C.J. Stroud. Makari Page comes up with it, his first of the season. And if it wasn't salted away already, that adds pain to the wound. Yeah, take a knee now. Time for the Wolverines. They're going to get the victory. Finish 12 and 0 regular season. Go to Indianapolis next week and play in the Big Ten Championship. Do we Se know who they're playing yet? We don't know yet. <laughs> Second straight year they will play in the Big Ten Championship game in Indianapolis. And Ohio State will have to wait and see if there is even a possibility that they could be considered for the college football playoff with this defeat. Obviously, that would involve significant amount of outside help. Well, what has been a dream season to date for Ohio State is going to end the regular season portion of it with disappointment. McCarthy takes a snap and take a knee. Ohio State won't get a chance to play for a Big Ten championship. They'll have to wait and see what postseason assignment they may get. Whether it might be possibly getting into the college football playoff. But you would think at this point, Jim, a New Year's Six bowl game would be in the offing. Yep. Yep. I think, you know, Rose Bowl had a chance to go there last year. Third and eight, Michigan at their own 35. McCarthy takes the snap, takes another knee. See some of the players out there starting to shake hands. Bunch of the Michigan players hugging Tommy Eichenberg. And the Wolverines break an eight game losing streak in Columbus. Their first win in the horseshoe since 2000. And Michigan will clinch the Big Ten East.
as they defeat Ohio State 45 to 23. The final 10 seconds will go off the clock. Michigan's season will extend at 12 and 0, 9 and 0 in the Big Ten as East champions. Ohio State 11 and 1, 8 and 1, and they'll have to wait and see what comes their way after losing today to Michigan. And the final seconds go off the clock. 45-23, Michigan with a victory here at Ohio State. This is the Ohio State Sports Network from Learfield.